Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 67. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. I've just realized I've started recording, and I'm not even showing stream what I'm looking at. <laughs> that is brilliant. Uh, so what we're going to do today, we're going to be taking part in the Pan-European Championship Silverstone Grand Prix circuit. Uh, seven laps, first place. 37 grand for pretty much all of these. Starting off with Silverstone, Suzuka Circuit, Sebring, Maple Valley. Finishing off with Magello. Let's get going. Oh, and we're taking the Bentley. Number seven, because it's my lucky number. All right. Uh, attempt number three. This is our first event in... These are one cars. I've said this so many times now. Uh, I'm not risking it. Oi, Pima. I want that purple car. I want that purple Audi. With the Infineon Raceway on it. Yeah, this is this is another first try. This is another first try. I don't know what we're on about. What was I on about? This is my first try. No. <laughs> Clearly isn't. My headphones keep disconnecting. Like they're cutting in and out. Like there's no signal. Not bad. I think out of the Horizon games, I'm very excited to play two and three. Out of the Motorsport games, I'm excited to play three and four. Motorsport three and four. The rest of them are there just because I want to complete Forza in general. Um, because that is exciting. When it comes to the WRC series, um. I'm probably more excited to complete WRC 1, 2, and 3. Um, and then WRC 8, 9, and 10. Plus, Generations is probably going to be on that list as well of games that I really want to complete. Which, I think the WRC series will actually be more easier for me to do. Because of the fact that when it comes to playing um, the first three, they're going to be exciting games. The middle ones, like 4, 5, and 6, might not be as exciting. But they'll still exist. And then when it comes to 7, 8, 9, 10 generations. That's where the enjoyment's going to come back in. And I think that's that series is going to make a full circle. And properly be enjoyable. Whereas with the Forza series. It's sort of like. Meh. Yay. Meh. Yay. Meh. So it's like. Lots of peaks and troughs in excitement throughout the whole series. But I will say, Forza Motorsport 2 has exceeded my expectations. Even though I told you Flash 
him right before me. This is going to be a lot shorter, actually. I think these cars are so quick. It's going to absolutely obliterate these lap times. Which is kind of surprising, actually. Oh, and uh, on my Be Right Back screen, I don't know if you've seen it already. There's a clip of Forza Motorsport 1 with me driving this exact car around this exact track. And I'm sat vibing away, so... It's a good tune. Let's go. Let's try and get a copy of that clip. <laughs> oh, I get back on track. Bend it. Yeah, FH2 can get a bit repetitive, I will agree. But, um, I feel like it has its own charm that will make it more enjoyable. Because the plan is, when I'm recording the footage for that, I'm going to be recording all the races. So I'm not going to record my travel in between waypoints at all, whether it's a short distance or a long distance. It's just going to be the four races and then the road trip. Four races, then a road trip, and then end of video, I believe. So we'll end up with like two championships each episode. Um, when it comes to uh, motorsport, sorry, Horizon 1, 3, 4, and 5. I may add in the occasional journey between missions, but I won't be focusing on that because that's not the main focus of the game. Um, but yeah, Horizon 2, I want to keep in the road trips because I feel like that's an important part of the gameplay experience with that game. And I think it's so important it needs to be kept in. And the road trips only last about five minutes, so it's nothing substantial. Most of the time, anyways, they only last five minutes. And as well, I've got a couple of things planned out for some of the Horizon series and some of the Motorsport 3 series. Um, I want to get more Twitch input. So I want Twitch to have more of a say of what vehicles I take. So before every series, I'm going to put like a two minute poll. People will pick what car that we're going to take for that event. And then we're going to take it. Um, so I, I do want to get some more viewer interaction involved um, with the series. And obviously Twitch, it's a live streaming platform. It, it's the perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, FH2 is the one where I think it's going to be turned up to the max though because there's so much potential going on with that that I can have everyone vote on a location that we go to. So chat will pick the location we go to. Um, and they get to vote on, I don't know whether chat will vote on what competition I do, like what vehicles. Or maybe if I pick the championship and then chat picks the car afterwards. If that makes sense. But uh, I am going to test it around with uh, Motorsport 3. The first Motorsport 3 stream, there won't be any Twitch interaction. Just because of the fact that I have a fairly planned out and written out plan of what I need to do for the first few events. Because obviously, the Forza Motorsport 3 and 4 games um, are so much easier if you do season play and stuff like that and world tour. But I am not doing that for my playthroughs, so I need to start out with a specific vehicle um, to be able to do as many events as possible with one car to earn as much money to then start buying new cars. Um, I think for Forza Motorsport 4, I think it's a Citroen C3 that I'm going to be taking. It's either C3 or C1, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it is a Citroen I'm taking for Motorsport 4. I think for Motorsport 3, I can get away with a Ford Fiesta. I think it is. Uh, I will have to double check on uh, my alt account what I actually bought first. Because I, I did do a mock-up of Motorsport 3 and 4 on my alt accounts um, to try and 
uh, see which ones I wanted to do. <laughs> Citroen C4 for the rally history. No, um, the main reason for um, Motorsport 4, why I'm taking the Citroen, is because of the fact that it starts off with City Cars as the first championship, which has about, I believe, five races. Uh, it's City Cars F-Class. Then it moves on to um, European Cars F-Class, which would then be the Citroen. And then after that, there's also a three-cylinder F-Class event, um, which the Citroen is a three-cylinder engine. So it means the first three championships I can do with the same car uh, and get myself enough money that I can then start buying cheaper cars and getting on with it. But if I'm looking at buying cars during Motorsport 3 and 4 at the start, it just won't work. My headset completely disconnected then. Zero connection at all. What the fuck? And I'm on a really low quality connection. Yay, I love low quality audio. It's my favorite thing in the world. Sarcasm, obviously. It's not even going back into a higher quality. It's just stuck in low quality Bluetooth connection. <laughs> it is like my um, audio is 160p. music in here <laughs> so uh, my brother is actually playing fuser on my ps5 in the moment it's basically uh you know the people who made rock band uh I'm not sure who is it Hi harmonics i think it's basically the dj version of that you basically mix your own tracks and shit it's pretty cool but yeah i can hear the music from here it's kind of cool it slaps and this slaps I think my uh, headphones have actually connected again properly. Here do we go. We're at the back of the pack again. Where's the other Bentley? Why is the other Bentley at the front of the pack, but I'm stuck at the back? That's not fair. That's blatant favoritism. Ah, oh, great. I've lost my suspension already. Lovely. Um, I'll have a look in a second if Ava Media's got some cheaper ones. I know they've got a cheaper alternative, but I'm not 100% sure whether it's um, 108060. So I will have a look in a minute. I think they might have one that's like 89.99, but I'm not 100% sure, so I, I will double check for you. Set the shadow, visualize it. I'll give you something to do. Visualize it. I'll give you something to do. 
get a wildfire burning. Visualize it. I'll give you something to do. I don't actually have a link to my Amazon wish list on my Discord bot. Um, I think it's still in my about panels, but I'm not 100% sure. Actually, no, I got rid of it. Oh, I probably should get the uh, Amazon wish list link set up with the bot then. Yeah, I probably should set that up at some point. <laughs> Spread it like. Spread it like. Hey, visualize it. I'll give you something to do. Uh, I, w I will send the uh, link in chat once I've done this race. There's uh, quite a few things on there. It's mostly like expensive like CPU kits and stuff like that. Like CPUs, some RAM kits. Um, there's no graphics cards on there. Because I don't need one. But, you know. I think I might need one soon though. Because I want to go dual graphics card setup with a killer CPU rather than a two PC build because I think a two PC build system would be a bit of a pain in the ass Fucking hell. Spread it like. I7 and a 3060 on my PC. Not bad, not bad. I got a, um... I think I've got similar specs to you then, because I got the Ryzen 5 3600. 4.2 gigahertz 6 core. Which I believe the i7 is also another 6 core. So, pretty much similar specs. I got 3060 gigabyte, um, graphics card. Um... I got a 240 gigabyte SSD boot drive, so that basically is untouched. That's just stores Windows. That's about it. Uh, and then I've also got a one terabyte hard drive for files, an eight terabyte hard drive for games and my recordings that I do on my YouTube, and then a one terabyte SSD solely designated for um, high speed video editing. Like it's an NVMe SSD, so it's proper high speed. 7,000 megabytes a second write speed. Yours has got 8 cores. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I know I know the i7s can be either 6 or 8 sometimes. Is it, it's all complicated the way that Intel does it. Intel's lineup is extremely complicated with their naming system. 11700. Ah, yeah, that definitely be 8 core. 11th gen i7s are pretty much 8 core and 10 cores, I believe.
Took a bit too much curb there. Not ideal. Not, not ideal. Ah, yeah. Not, not ideal. Yeah, surprisingly, this thing isn't doing these races as quick as I was expecting it to. What game was it that they added Formula One cars to? Was it Motorsport 4 or Motorsport 5? I know they were definitely in Motorsport 5, but did they have them in Motorsport 4 as well? I'm not too sure. Also, I don't think any of this playthrough is actually going to be done on wheel. I was debating whether I did uh, Motorsport 7 on wheel, but I've decided against it just because Motorsport 7 is actually the only game I'd be willing to play on wheel while streaming. The other ones I'd want to do with controller, it just doesn't seem useful. If you want my recommendation... I would recommend finishing Motorsport 3 and Motorsport 2. And once you've done that, look into getting Motorsport 4. Because Motorsport 4 is so good. Such an improvement on those games. But I fear that if you don't finish Motorsport 1, 2, or don't finish 2 and 3 before you actually play Motorsport 4, you might never go back to them. Because Motorsport 4 is a great, great game. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice one, yeah. Uh, if you need a hand learning how to edit with it, just uh, hit me up and I can give you give you some pointers. Because it can, uh, if you've never edited a video before, can be a bit of a pain in the ass to use DaVinci. If you've edited before, uh, you could probably work it out. Um... Try and make some YouTube videos on some games. Yeah, good idea. Well, that's the end of that race. There's a dog barking outside my window. Woohoo! Not bad. Alright, here we go. We're around Sebring. Hey, no worries, Koda. No worries. Feeling, such a good feeling, this feeling. I can't stop myself feeling this feeling. Not bad.
such a good feeling. A good feeling. Such a good feeling. Bing 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 Magnetic eyes I think that's what the song is Do it. Matrix and Future Bound make some absolute hits. And quite a few of their songs are actually featured on a game called Osu. I don't know if anyone's heard of the game Osu. Welcome to Osu. It's a pretty cool game. Never good at it. But I enjoy giving it a try. <laughs> Magnetic eyes. The weeb obsessed game. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's heavily weeb inspired. A lot of anime stuff. Sort of why I can't play it because there is so much anime stuff. Magnetic eyes. Yeah. I mean, I got fairly fast reactions. I, I can do, like, rhythm games, but that game is just ridiculous. Like, I can play fast solos on Guitar Hero, but Osu? Fuck that. No chance in hell. Yeah. Oh, chinchilla. <laughs> yeah. I'm planning on buying another 8 terabyte drive <laughs> for my PC. I'm gonna make it 16 terabytes in there. I want one drive to be solely for like video stuff. Um, actually, I don't think I need it at the moment. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. Who knows?
Whoa. That thing gripped more around that corner than I expected. <laughs> By the way, if you guys do want to help support the channel, feel free to uh, share out the content. Uh, feel free to support in any way, shape or form. Any way is greatly appreciated. Whether that is you watching on YouTube, watching on Twitch. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did forget it. I'll be honest. I forgot. I went out of the room to do something, came back in, and then just started racing. Hans, thank you for the drink, but I don't have a beverage at the moment. I will have to go downstairs and get another bottle of water. But not after this race, because otherwise I'll forget the Amazon wish list again. <laughs> What's that smile? I've got a creepy smile, by the way. So I physically cannot... I don't know whether it was when I had my teeth taken out. Um, because I had a couple of teeth taken out. And I think it's hit a nerve and, like, damaged a nerve in my face. That when I... I physically cannot move my mouth to smile the same as I used to be able to. So it looks really like... Like a forced smile. Even though it is a false smile, it, like, properly looks like I don't want to smile. Even, no matter how much I try. Like, it's, it's just so bad. Why are you still spamming it? I know water important -y. Importante. Right, I will do this race. I'll do the Amazon wish list. I'll do another race, and then I'll chug a whole bottle of water. How does that sound, Hans? Is that good for you? Because if it's not, well, fuck off. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't. <laughs> Hopefully, that should be fine. Lots of water. <laughs> Sounds like a deal. Good. <laughs> you have a deal. PO plus one. <laughs> no, you fuck off. <laughs> I can't really go anywhere. Why the fuck did the car swerve like that? Me confuzzled. I'll be totally honest, me is confuzzled. Now can I be your plus, 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 be your plus one? Boom, 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 Too much arrow. Oh my god, this is a tune. Na 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 na. If you don't know what this is, you're not British. This is like the peak of like French dance music. Do you know what it is really weird though? French dance music was a lot more popular in the UK than people realise. Old school French dance music was really popular in the UK. It's probably because they used English lyrics, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, French dance music, though, it slapped. Honestly. It was on another level. You think, uh, David Guetta, 
extremely popular back in 2008. Um, Strome. He didn't even speak English in his songs. They were popular in the UK. Strome, Stromai. I don't know how you say it, but him. The guy that did that a lot on dance. Dun 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 It's gonna get clipped. It's gonna get clipped. Someone's gonna clip that. This is gonna be fucking funny. Alright, here we go, let's go. I love this song. Let me load up voice meter on my touch portal. I need to turn the title up. Oh, his engine's gone. Is it your first time? Let me show you things that they warn you about. You got bite. I like that. You're gonna need it. You're not making it easy for me. Strutting around here in those poom poom shorts. Ben, ben for me. We can do it if you like. There you go, go. Looking like a snack. Cute like Bambi. But you're headed for a trap. Meet me in the boom boom room And we can do what you like I wanna be your education I wanna be your contact high This is a cute, this is catchy Lick, 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 lickety split Talk to T to me <laughs> reminds me of FIFA or Burnout Revenge Burn it, it probably reminds me more of Burnout I actually, yeah, FIFA had this kind of vibe, didn't it? This definitely isn't from any of those games Because it's a 2022 album So it's definitely not from those But they may have made a song many years ago that could have been in it um they made two songs one was called banquet and the other one was called helicopter uh by block party and uh helicopter was featured in guitar hero 3 banquet i believe was featured in dirt 2 or maybe helicopter might have been the one that was in dirt 2 as well um, yeah, I think a helicopter was in Dirt 2. Yeah, so it might have been in one of the really older, like an older Burnout. Could have been. We'll have a look at the Burnout Revenge soundtrack, see if it's on there. I can guarantee you, a majority of the songs I listen to has probably been on SSX. I've never played it. Yeah, Block Party. Block Party Banquet probably was on that. Mechanic CG is AI. Agreed. <laughs> really bad AI. I'm actually struggling to drive this around this track quickly. Tricky on tour. Is that one of the songs that was on Horizon 3? I'm trying to think. Tricky. Is, is it that 
It's time to rock around, to rock around. That's right, old time. It's tricky. It's a tricky, 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 tricky. Is it that song? I hope it is. Otherwise, I've done a really shit <laughs> impression of the wrong song. It is that song, yeah. So that song was also featured on... Um, I believe the radio station was actually called Block Party on Horizon 3. Uh, and it was basically a rap song, and it was on there as well. That song. That song was made for the game. Ooh. That's really cool, actually. There is a lot of, like... I don't think Easter eggs is the right word, but... There's a lot of fun facts about music in the music industry that you can actually go for hours and look for stuff. So, um, I think I mentioned this in the last stream, but I'm going to mention it again anyways, um, in case anyone missed it or anything like that. Um, the song Take Me Back to London by Stormzy and Ed Sheeran was produced by Skrillex, right? Which... It's kind of strange, because this is like a proper hardcore, like, British rap song. And it was produced by Skrillex, an Amer American DJ. American producer. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and as well, uh, the song Rude Boy by Rihanna was made by Rob Swire, the producer of the song Rude Boy. But also the producer of Pendulum. Pretty neato. Um, it is really interesting though because Spotify and stuff like that, they have an option where you can view um, who actually makes the song. Yeah, I said that yesterday, but some people didn't hear me say it yesterday, so just wanted to clarify it. The thing is, Spotify lets you view credits of songs but you can't actually like search for songs based off of credits and stuff like that so in terms of like finding artists and their actual work is extremely challenging on Spotify um I've never heard of Bad Boy Chiller Crew I've got no clue what that is um, but yeah, there's, um, Spotify doesn't really allow you to find, unless an artist is listed as, um, I was listening to the songs on stream earlier. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I probably, if I didn't know the song, I probably wouldn't have noticed it. So, um, but yeah, Spotify has no discovery. So if you want to look for like remixes um, or songs that have been produced by a certain artist for other people, you can't do that with Spotify. That's why I love Tidal so much because if I go onto like Skrillex's page, there's literally a playlist that set shows all the songs that he's produced every single song that he's produced, whether he was listed as the artist of the song or not. Because again, sometimes they can produce a song but not actually be listed as an artist. They just get listed as a producer. Fair enough. Might give him a listen to after the stream. My nose is just incredibly itchy, so I keep like adjusting it so it feels a little bonk. Uh, Kodo, if you can um, send me like a song of theirs from. Um 
YouTube. I'll have a listen to it after stream once I've finished. Be easier if you could send it to me on Discord because then I'll see it. It's like my little notification log of and like list of things to do. Set me free. You can set me free. Free me if you want me. I want to put Block Party Banquet on. Since listening to Traps earlier, I was like, like literally at the start of this race, I've just been like, oh, Banquet. I need to listen to Banquet. Such a tune. Cheers for that. Thank you everyone for uh, sticking around today, by the way. It's been uh, another really good stream after yesterday. I didn't think we could actually have a stream as good as yesterday because we haven't had streams where we've chatted for so long for quite some time, but clearly people are really into the content at the moment, so greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone. Fucked. Not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. Alright, let's do this. Because I'm on fire. Because you know I'm on fire. You know, a hell of a lot of old songs is that's what I've listened to. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. If you're into a song, you listen to it, honestly. Like, that's the, that's the joy of music. If you enjoy a song and you vibe with it, go and vibe with it. Honestly, it's so good. I think you'd like um, Block Party, though. 960 to 2010. It's fair enough. This is the other song as well. This is Helicopter. So uh, this one, I believe, was featured on Dirt 2. Dun, 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 dun. Not to sell. Empty. Running on. Bravado. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> that was a good one. Burnout Revenge is this one, main menu music. Yeah, so. Start being. Mm -hmm. So. There's a time and there's a place. It is such a tune. And the one after this, I don't think was featured in any racing games. But it's by the same band and it's actually a pretty catchy tune. Get Ratchet. You got Studio. Ah. Yeah, you might want to uninstall that one and get the other one instead. Yeah. It's fine. You just got to uninstall it, reinstall the other one. Should be fine. Queuing up for some more. It is actually quite complicated to see which one you actually need to use and need to install. 
Hey, yeah, nice one. <laughs> Do it, hands. Get those emulators out. Play some good old PS2 games. I'm really struggling to drive this car around here. Six, are you hoping for a miracle? DX surprisingly um, sell quite a few PS2 games, but they're mostly kept behind um, behind like the shelves um, because they need to make space, like behind the doors, whatever it is, behind whatever, behind the counter. That's the term I was looking for. Yeah, I think Adobe Premiere out of the paid options is the better option, but. Uh, for free video edit editing software, DaVinci Resolve is the best. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. I tell you, bitch, to get off my shit. Hey, yeah. Uh... I got quite a few um, PS2 games actually. I'm due to do another setup tour video for YouTube, but I'm gonna uh, make it like a members only thing. Because obviously I don't want it interfering with a YouTube series. Um, I'm gonna let you have your way. Yeah, so I wanna do a um, YouTube tour. You've had the PS2 for 15 years. So you had it when you got it. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, shit. Hey, uh... Christmas in 2006. Jesus. So if you're... You'd have been like three, wouldn't you? Not bad. do <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad Christmas present, though. PS2. I, um... I bought my PS2 as a lockdown thing, so... During lockdown, when, like, lockdown first happened, I made two substantial purchases. And got into two hobbies, right? Sim racing was one of the big ones. And, um... I sort of got into, like got into these racing games um so stuff like i've been thinking i want you to be happier 
you can be happier. You have to sing it every time. Um, yeah, so I got into sim racing, bought my racing wheel about two years ago now. It was April 2020 I bought mine. There is a YouTube video. It does have my face in it. You can find that out. Um, but then there's... I also, in July 2020, I bought a PS2 Slim. And I started collecting video games for it. Because from 2019, obviously mid-2019, I bought the Xbox 360 and I started collecting that. So I was like, look, I'm going to start collecting video games. I had already been given my old uh, PS3. No one was using the PS3 in my family. It wasn't mine, but I was like, look, I want to get a PS3 to add to my collection. Ended up getting the old one that uh, my stepdad had because he didn't use it at all. Um, do, 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 someone up on the seat me up inside. Uh, and then, yeah, I basically just started collecting PS3, PS2, PS1 games. I, I remember distinctly... So they shipped my PS2 in a shoebox. <laughs> so the thing came in a shoebox. I'm not complaining because it's CEX. CEX makes use of everything and it's kind of inspiring, actually. Like, oh, there's a useless shoebox here. Put it in the bin or use it for packaging. We we'll use it for packaging. Um, so they put a PS, the PS2 in there, along with the controllers and the cables. And then I had bought, with um, my delivery, I had bought Gran Turismo, I believe it was Gran Turismo 1, Gran Turismo 3, and Gran Turismo 4. They were the only ones that were available in that store. Um, and I didn't want to have two deliveries, so I bought that and then bought Gran Turismo 2 a week later. Because um, I didn't know how long it would... Oh my god, I just completely lost the car then on that curb. Uh, I didn't know how much... If it would add a delay to my order if it had to ship from two different places. Turns out with CEX it doesn't, so, you know. Same for a PS5 disc, which is 450. That's fair enough, yeah. That makes sense, because you um, play, like, PS... You've got, like, PS4 games, haven't you? And stuff like that, so. That makes sense to get a disc version of that. I went for the digital, because... I only really fancied getting digital stuff, but I know down the line, when the PS6 comes out and the PS5 goes fairly cheap, I may get a PS5 disc to go along with my digital. And then I probably end up using the PS5 disc version um, in my main setup. And then my digital one, I'd probably end up putting in, like, bedroom or whatever. To use as, like, a secondary console, just out the way kind of vibe. Oh yeah, did they do that price hike then? Because I remember seeing a news article that Sony was going to increase the price of the PS5. Have they done it now? Oh, so that comes with a game, so that's why it's more expensive. They had 50 for that. Oh, yes. We got all gold in the regional championships. 50 gamer score. Wow. Let's go. Result. 36 grand. We're getting close to level 50 as well. Not bad. Me likey, likey. 
I think Moto Moto likes you. Was that one million for completing the regional championship? Also, this car. I'm going to be using it at some point. It's an S class. It's not an actual R vehicle. Oh fuck! Well, I'm gutted about that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.